So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my tanning routine. So I've been doing this particular routine for the last couple of years. It never changes ever. And that is how I create a gorgeous, flawless, even base. In this particular video, I'm going to be using the Tan Organic Tanning Range, which I absolutely adore. And I've been using for a good few weeks now. These are an Irish owned company. They are 84% aloe vera based, they're really easy to work with and really easy to apply. They're a beautiful range of products that smell absolutely incredible and they also just create a gorgeous even base, free from streakiness and also fade really well as well. Actually it, it fades so well that I barely even notice it fading, I, I just kind of came out of the shower one day and it was gone. Um, so in that sense, I absolutely adore that because that's one thing that turns me off using tans. It's that patchiness, that cakiness, and that kind of dirtiness of a tan. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. To prep the skin, start by exfoliating. This removes any dead skin cells and doing this will ensure you get a long lasting even tan. I'm using the Tan Erase Exfoliating Mitt which fits comfortably on your hand and rub in circular motions to break down any dead skin cells and also get the blood flowing. This will improve circulation and it will also remove any old unwanted tan. Pay special attention to any joints or any drier areas, for example your elbows, knees, ankles and hands. Next I'm using the multi-use dry oil to moisturise or add lubricant to any drier areas to avoid tan sticking to these areas causing patchiness. I love how versatile this product is, you can use it in the bath as a moisturiser or even a hair mask. It's also great for stretch marks and the gorgeous citrus smell wins me over every single time. Okay, can we just talk about the glove. I mean, how cute is this? It's not only super soft, but I also love the fact that it comes with a thumb, which makes applying tan so much easier, and it's really unique as well on the market. So I'm gonna be using the tan lotion, and this is, again, aloe vera base, paraben free, free from colors and fragrances, and it also smells like oranges. You only need about, say, a two euro coin size amount, and I will say just leave it a couple of seconds can soak into the mitt because you don't want to do what I did and just turn it upside down and then it spills everywhere. Uh, it's quite a watery consistency which I like because it spreads evenly and it also just creates a tiny little tint on the skin so you can see exactly where you're applying it. Make sure you're in good lighting so you can see exactly where you applied it so you don't have any patchiness and also leave any drier areas like your elbows and your hands to last because you don't want a lot of product on those areas. For my legs, I'm going to be using the tanning oil. So this is a little bit different, it's a little bit more lightweight and natural than the lotion and you can actually apply this with your hands and it doesn't stain at all. So I just rub this all over my leg and I'm telling you it's just so natural that it didn't really show up on camera. It's almost like your skin only better. And also don't forget to wash your hands. <laughs> And the last product from the collection is their Duo Bronzer. This comes with a bronzer and a highlighter. And I'm going to be using an angled brush and I'm just carving out my cheekbones. Again, using the top of your ear and corner of your mouth as guides. So you're getting right in there underneath the cheekbones. This bronzer is about two shades darker than the shade I would normally use. So I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I did, but I thought it gave me a gorgeous chiseled look. So if you're looking for very strong defined cheekbones, this bronzer is definitely for you. But I also love that it gave me the coverage and it didn't look muddy, which I find that does tend to happen with darker bronzers. So I was really impressed with this. And then I used the highlighter just on my cheekbones using a fan brush. And I was also pleasantly surprised with the amount of pigmentation in this highlighter. For a tanning range, I didn't think they would get a bronzer and highlighter as on point as they did. So well done Tan Organic, I am obsessed. And this is also a very good dupe for the Becca Cosmetics Prosecco Pop. So that's pretty much it guys, I really hope you enjoy this demo on the new Tan Organic products while also kind of showing you guys my tanning routine. I really hope you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next Friday for my monthly favourites.